Commissioner just quieted down, so now's a good time to start talking. Happy Wednesday, friends! We did it! We made it through Monday and Tuesday. It's hump day. How's everyone feeling? Angela gives me a thumbs up. Luca... Extremely sore. Extremely sore, says Luca, who did private barbell yesterday, which makes sense. He did lots and yes. lots of barbell repetitions. Any of you at home who did yesterday's workout, it is okay. Embrace it. The good news is you don't have to move anything today except for your body and potentially a little uh, five ounce jump rope. All right. So today we have uh, some gymnastic strength. We're picking up where we left off over the last couple of weeks, working on our tempo dips. But today we're going to switch up the order a little bit. Today we're going to start with our Metcon and we're going to do our gymnastics dip strength as our buyout. Angela's face. Oh, she looked oh, like. Oh, shock horror. She looked like a Van Gogh painting. Oh, what's that? All right, so don't worry, we'll get you guys through it. So our our, our starting imam today, we have a 15 minute imam. Uh, minute number one, we're working on strict handstand push-ups or strict overhead press with your dumbbell or kettlebell. Minute number two, we're working on toes to bar or one, two, three up downs. Uh, and then minute number three, we're working on double unders or single unders or jumping jacks. So today, not super intense. Yesterday uh, was a fairly intense workout, whether you did the home version or the barbell version. So today we're just going to kind of move around. Then we will finish off with our gymnastics imam uh, for four minutes, doing five tempo ring dips. Cool. Yeah, how do you feel today, sir? Uh, pretty, pretty all right. Cause pretty. I didn't do air force. Yeah, you know, we're, air we're doing, force. We have we have an air force uh, appointment tomorrow, so yes. that we'll we'll, let, we'll report back on that. Yeah, we'll talk to you about it on Friday. I'll film the full video and I'll just post it so you can just watch yeah. how how fun I, how much fun I had. Uh, I feel okay. I think. Yeah. I think. Good. I think. Yeah. Do the macarena. You got your that's, elbow. That's the check. You gotta do the macarena, and then if you feel okay, I have this just in case. Feeling all right. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start by loosening up our shoulders wherever you are. Let's everyone do the Macarena. Right hand, left hand, over, under, tap the shoulder on your head, shake your hips. They're yeah, actually doing it. They're actually doing it. All right, nice. All right. <laughs> Angela's still doing it. I love it. She knows it. All right. All right, guys. So, but for real, though, <laughs> let's start with some, some shoulder work here. So, yeah. wherever you are, hinge the hip over, get a nice stretch of those hamstrings, and we're just going to give ourselves some hugs here. Hugs. Anyone who did yesterday's workout probably feels this in your ham bones, your hamstrings, glutes, lower back, yeah. that fun stuff. Give yourself a nice big hug. Make sure those arms are alternating every time over and under. Everyone give me one more. Stand up tall. Next up, let's do some shoulder circles. So you're going to reach up and over. Feel a nice crack of the back. Then keep on moving at your own pace. Up and around. Breathing on every repetition. Oh yeah, feel some snap crackles and pops through your shoulders and stuff. Ugh. And let's switch directions, bring it from the back to the front. Back to the front. And relax. All right, from here, let's wake up the calves a bit for our noodle unders or jumping jacks. We're gonna go up onto your toes and back onto your heels. Operation, find your balance. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing, but one foot at a time. So let's get this other foot in the air, up onto the toe, back onto the heel, using your opposite foot and arms to help you not fall down to the ground. And go ahead and switch other side. Let's go. Yep. This side's a little better than the other. Um, if I was a betting man, anyone who knows what their plant foot is on their split shirt, I bet money that you feel more confident doing single leg movement on that one versus the other. Might also be your better foot for pistols, maybe. All right, go ahead and relax. Next up, let's jump up and down just to wake up those calves. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's bounce. Nice and light on those feet. You can dance if you want to. So you can use alien song. Bounce, 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 bounce. Come on, bounce in the mother effing house. Edited version. All right, go ahead and relax. Next up, if you have a place to hang from, hop one up and just give me 10 scapula pull-ups. If you don't have one, grab your TRX, your sheet row, or your kettlebell or dumbbell and just shrug those shoulders up and back. 10 reps, let's go. All right, let's go down onto the floor. Let's wake up those abdominales. Tilt the camera down here. Lie down. Crew. Yeah, cool. Alright, here. Cool. Alright. 
We have one, two, three up downs as our total bar stuff today. Uh, let's just do three of those quickly, then we'll get prepped for our total bar. So remember, guys, we're gonna go one, two, three, down and up. That's one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. That's three. All right, from here, for anyone who's doing a twos to bar, we're just gonna practice that trampoline method, right? Controlling that kip. So, laying on your back, you're going to imagine there's a pull up bar or set of rings in your hands. We're going to kick, chamber, kick. Imagine there's a trampoline above us and below us. Control that momentum, don't let it control you. Cool, everybody ready? Everyone, let's give me eight repetitions here. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Nice, Sarah. Good. Nice, Chen. There you go, Meg. Nice, Luca. That's a guy's fast beat. If you feel like you're coming off the ground, that means you are doing it right. Once you finish your Ocho reps, stand on up. All right, guys. If you have an apparatus to do toes to bar from, I just want you to give me five repetitions. And remember, guys, it's that same kicking method that we just did, right? All it is is a kick, chamber kick. Kick, chamber, kick, kick, chamber, kick. Nice and easy, keeping those knees close to your chest the whole time. Go for it, guys. If you do not have a toe to bar thing, just uh, stay on the ground. Just give me five more, one, two, three, up, down. Get those abs a little more fired up. That's it, that's it. All right, friends. Let's start to get some load onto those shoulders for our handstand push-ups. So everyone, I want you to walk yourself into a pike position. I need booties, oh thank you. My head's got off in zoom in. I need butts in the air, elbows locked out, like so. Meet me here, guys. All right, so looking back at your feet, we're gonna slowly lower our head down to the floor, then press out of it with elbows by the ears. Remember, if you cannot do these, we're gonna do a kipping Pike push up. So you can bend your knees on the way down, keeping elbows close to your body. Then you're going to kick and lift at the same time. Always finishing with your elbows by your ears. All right? Also, remember, guys, in terms of our elbow angle, make sure that we're not flaring here, right? You want to keep those elbows nice and close to your body. That translates directly to our ring dips, to our muscle ups, to our handstand walking, to our handstand push ups. And remember, doing your shoulders like this is actually no bueno, and it puts a lot of pressure on your shoulder cap and can lead to injury over time. So let's not do any pressing like that. Cool? Yes. Everybody good? All right, cool. So uh, what we need to do to finish warming up, if you are doing handstand push-ups today, I just want you to get upside down and just try to give me one or two of them, save your reps for the workout. If you're using your dumbbell or kettlebell, just grab that and give me two reps per side. Uh, and then I'll give you further directions on double unders. Three, two, one, go. So one or two handstand push-ups, or two strict press with your dumbbell or kettlebell. Remember guys, we are doing strict pressing today. So Angela, try to cut that little hitch out of your jump there. Try to only use your shoulders. No legs today, no legs on those handstand push-ups. You're not the only one who's sad about it, Angela. You're not the only one. Is that it sing song? Baby, you're not the only one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that wants to do keeping things. Uh, that feels good. All right, cool. One, done. Ah, ah, ah. All right. Cool. All right, so bro tip, Sarah. Bro, bro tip for Sarah. Come on down. Bro tip for Sarah and anyone else who is trying handstand push-ups, maybe for the first time strict. Um, bounce off of your head. Hopefully you have a nice uh, pound pad or pillows. Yeah. There is a natural stretch reflex in everything we do, right? Like when you're squatting, your body naturally wants to bounce out of that position. Just like when you're doing a regular push-up, that's why a hand release push-up is harder. So for a handstand push-up, if you're going for a strict one for the first time, you want to kind of bounce off of your head while controlling it. So we do not want to go up, rest on the ground. You want to go up, kick, stay nice and tight, flex those lats, look straight ahead, and then bounce off of your head to the best of your ability. Great. I know I make it look easier than it is. All right, options for people who want to get strict handstand push-ups but maybe can't. If you're going to kick up, you're gonna try a handstand push-up. If nothing happens, what you're gonna to do today is keeping handstand push-ups with a controlled negative, all right? By controlled negative, that means from upside down, you're gonna kick up, you're gonna go 
four, three, two, one, all the way down to your head and then kick up and go. So I want you to do about five of those during the minute. Cool? All right, double unders. If you have a jump rope, grab it. Just give me 10 double unders. If you're doing jumping jacks, just give me 10 jumping jacks. Three, two, one, go. We'll have plenty of time to practice. We're in the workout. Yeah, seriously. All right. Cool. It's about time. Anyone? Ooh. Anyone in Zoom land? <laughs> Chalk left over from the last workout I did. Um, anyone have any questions in Zoom land about the EMOM? So remember, minute one. We're doing five to 10 strict handstand push-ups or strict overhead press per side. The whole idea today is we do not want to use our legs. This is just strict pushing power, all right? Minute number two, 15 toes to bar, toes to rings, or one, two, three, down and up. Minute number three, 60 double unders, 120 single unders, or 60 jumping jacks. Coolio, 15 minutes, so we got five rounds, five rounds, all right? Angela, yes? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, if, if you physically cannot move it without using a little jump, that's all right. You can do the same that's thing. You can do the same thing, Angela. You can do a, a nice five, four, three, two, one, dip drive. Oh, okay. Makes sense. So yeah. a tempo or an eccentric? Eccentric. Yes, that is correct. Eccentric. Quick science lesson as we stall for the workout, even though it's not that hard today. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> so, so quick, quick little little science lesson. There are three different kinds of muscular contractions. There's concentric, eccentric, and isometric. Okay, concentric for ease is just like a bicep curl. That is when you're moving this way on the way up. The eccentric is when the load is going away. Right. That's when your muscles aren't actively working, but they're moving with the weight. Okay. And then isometric is just like if you did just the whole like this, okay? So what we're working on, for those of us that don't have the ability to do the concentric handstand push up overhead press, we're gonna work on that eccentric loading. That's one way that we can build concentric strength by doing time on the eccentric strength. Cool? Science! Science! All right, everybody, let's get ready to get upside down or to grab your dumbbells or kettlebells. We are starting in 10 American seconds. Five to ten strict handstand push-ups. Remember, you don't have to do these unbroken. For everyone at home. Three, two, one.
Toes bar coming up. Yeah. Goals. Goals. Let's go. Toes bar. Once we have done. Yeah. Yeah. Seconds in. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yes. Oh.
Get upside down. Three, two, I see you from across the room. It's kind of crowded here, but I know you see me too. Everybody sing along. Flash. Everybody sing along. Push, push. I'm on the way. Give me one. It's about to. It must be in the way. Point five. Ah.
right, guys. Catch breath. Take a minute here. Our last piece of buyout today, we have our four minute ring dip emo. Five dips a minute, pausing at the top and bottom for two seconds. You can do these as push ups on your knees, on parallettes, on the books. As long as you're getting full range of motion and able to control at the top and the bottom, you're cool with me. Alright? I'm gonna give you guys 90 seconds, then we're gonna start. Woo! Ring dips under fatigue. Fun! Woo! Go ahead and get set up. Yeah. What's the words? I don't know the words. Yeah. Paramore. We don't own the rights to that song either. Five minutes of stretching. We'll be done right on time. All right, guys, catch your breath. Starting here in 40. That's 4-0, 40, 40 seconds. Set up your ring, you set up Countdown. What's up? Can you give me a 10 second countdown so I can match? Absolutely. We're counting down in 20 seconds from now. at home you're doing great 15 seconds and we're back to it ah that's my beard 10 seconds all right guys five four three two let's go let's go down two up two down two up two down two up Two, down, two, one more, up, two, down, two, and relax. Remember guys, if you lose pace with me, you can make up the reps on your own. You have a full minute, get through it the best you can. Definitely doing the dab stretch today. All right, guys, last round's coming up. 10 seconds. Let's go, Zoomers and YouTubers. Five, four, three, two, 
Up we go. Down. Two. Up. Two. Down. Two. Up. Two. Down. Two. Up. Two. Down. Two. One more, guys. Up. Two. Down. Two. And press. Woo! My chest. I think I'm bleeding inside of my chest, Charlie Murphy. All right, guys, finish it up. Then we'll meet on the floor. Let's go, Sarah. Yeah. Nice job, Zoomers. Woo! All right. Bring it down to the floor, guys. To the flow. All right. What's popping? What? What is popping? Uh, my shoulders. My chest and shoulders. All right, guys. You know the deal. Sit on your butt. Hands on the ground behind you. Slide forward. Okay, can't slide forward anymore. Let's go. Oh, let me move the camera down from the zoomies. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Huh. That's the guys hang out here. Kick your legs over to one side. Feel that opposing shoulder and junk. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, hello. Woo. Man, switch. Uh -oh. And relax. All right. Let's do our dab stretch. Yes. You guys remember how to do this one, Zoomers? Let me cue up the camera. Sarah, explain how we're going to do it. Thumbs up. From me at least. Alright. Zoomers. Let's get our right arms out to the side. I told them correctly. Yeah. Awesome. Alright. Three, two, one, dab and fall. Woo. So we're reaching with the front arm and reaching with the side arm. So if you look stretching your lats and obliques. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and relax. Yeah, that's much more fun than just doing this. Right. <laughs> All right, right, guys. Other side. Three, two, one. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Damn, it's bad. Also, it's like very much a fan of anything that involves like crashing the ground. Yes. Yeah. Stripper deadlifts. Burpees. Burpees. <laughs> Not so much a set of get-ups. Not so much. Alright guys, in the legs. Sit it up. Now we can do a little kind of gym class stretch. Hit that lat and tricep. Pull it on down. Down, down, down. And switch. And let's go into the camel. The camel. So either sitting on your ankles, lean back, or if you're a gangster, sit on up. Reach it back. And let's get it. Oh yeah. Woo! Let your neck relax. Oh my god, yeah. I, I used to not be able to do this at all. Mobility gains. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. Relax. All right, guys. Let's do one quick stripper deadlift. Pay a couple bills. Then we'll finish it off. Hit those calves on the way up. You know what to do. Slap the floor. Slow roll it up. Twerk what your mama gave you. Hit those calves. Stand and reach. Meet me at the bottom of the squats. Right hand down, left hand up, reach for the sky. And switch. And switch. And last time, switch. Both hands up. Three, two, one. Arriba. Yes. Yeah. Awesome job, everyone. Congrats to Sarah on your like three and a, and a quarter. Three and a quarter. push-ups. It all starts somewhere, guys. I remember when I when I first started doing strict handstand push-ups, I could do zero. And here I am. You guys will all get there. You guys did great today. Have a wonderful Wednesday. See you guys soon. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Oh, hey, Argus. Oh, Argus, like, it's too hot. It's too hot, says Argus. Let me inside, mommy, please. <laughs> All right. Thank you. See you, Angela. Bye, Meg. Bye. Bye, father. Dad, you still owe me 30 burpees. Bye. <laughs>